my character is, I, well, I like to think, um, Bradley's arch nemesis and rival. They were two young chefs at Paris at the same time, went up the ranks together. My character um, did very well in London, got his three Michelin stars, opened his restaurant. Bradley's character got two Michelin stars, fell, fell foul of the rails, um, derailed himself, had a brief uh, surgeon in Louisiana, and then has come back to get his third Michelin star. Uh, and that is basically the film's trajectory, is watching him uh, roller coast his way to his, th his third star, if indeed he does. Um, whereas my character hates the fact that he could po potentially be the same rated chef as he. It's sort of incredible. He's he's fearless in in striving for you know what is to make the scene as perfect as possible, um, and, and that is applied to any any element. Um, and John Wells, the director, fantastically led us, you know, confident enough to let us play and improvise um, at the very end, very in keeping, because my my chef has a style of cooking that uses these poaching bags, these plastic bags, and Bradley's character in a, at his lowest ebb sort of took one and began to suffocate himself um, in a very realistic way. Uh, so I abandoned any acting and, and tried to get it off his head. But it, yeah, sort of, it was, it was very succinct as to what's going on and, and, and sort of perfectly played by him and I think became a great moment. Uh, not as much as Bradley and his army of chefs. You know, they're, they're the old vanguard who believe that food should be in a frying pan with oil and butter and flames and passion. And my uh, character believes more in the new wave that, you know, um, food can be infused in a bag and poached uh, in a far more clinical, scientific way, possibly. Uh, therefore, in the script, I basically had to do very little. I had to shout at chefs and then present... Bradley with an omelette at one point, which I thought would be fine, but when I was um, taught by uh, one of Marcus Waring's chefs, um, who is a three-star Michelin chef himself, how to do a French omelette, I realized I was so out of my depth, I should have drowned. Um, so she very kindly did the, <laughs> the majority of all the omelette shots uh, and very kindly passed it to me on the word action. I mean, just uh, an ever-sinking roller coaster for the Jennings, as the, you know, their trajectory in the fourth season. Things can only get worse for them, as as this net of many aspects snares them even tighter. Um, so yeah, it's certainly not dull. It doesn't lack any conflict uh, or tension, as as they try and keep their heads above this these espionaged waters, really.